The world has moved one step closer off to humans powered by chips. Elon Musk's Neuralink has completed 100 days in trial. Musk tweeted to hail the 100-day milestone of the first human implant of company's brain computer interface or PCI. The first participant, Nolan Arbach, received the implant at Barrow Neurological Institute in Phoenix, Arizona, in a successful surgery 100 days ago. Nolan returned home on the same day after the surgery. At the time of the launch, Elon Musk had claimed that his Neuralink implants can restore eyesight in monkeys. The billionaire had also said that this Neuralink product would be called Blindside, adding that the resolution would be low to begin with, like early Nintendo graphics, but that it could exceed normal human vision in the future. But everything is not all right. In the blog post shared by Neuralink, the startup has acknowledged a malfunction in the system. Neuralink said that a part of the implant malfunctioned after the initial procedure. Not deterred by the setback, Neuralink made adjustments to the recording algorithm, improved the user interface, and worked on enhancing signal translation into cursor movements. And voila! These refinements produced a rapid and sustained improvement in BPS, which, as per the company, has now superseded Nolan's initial performance. As per reports, at one point, Neuralink had considered removing the implant after the malfunction, but in the end decided against it. Nolan uses the PCI system for up to 10 hours on a daily basis. Ever since Neuralink shared its plans to implant a chip in a human brain, the scientific community voiced concerns regarding the long-term impact and effects on humans. Although helpful, the fear is it may lead to degradation in the quality of neuronal signal detection over time. Musk's Neuralink is not the only startup working to enhance human capabilities or help humans with eyesight, hearing and other issues through a chip implant. Synchron Inc., a company backed by Jeff Bezos and Bill Gates, is also advancing toward a clinical trial for its brain implant technology.